Hello, hello, and welcome to joining me on my floor. <laughs> so today I'm going to do some sewing and I thought I would record, record it so you guys could join along too. So what I'm going to say today is a dress version of the Bridget bodysuit. So this is the bodysuit which I have made, it's my first pattern, um, and I want to show you how you can use this pattern to make a dress out of it. So I've got my pattern all cut up here. Here's piece one and piece two, very glamorously duct taped together. I did a poll and asked you guys what fabric you wanted me to use and you chose this gorgeous blue, shiny, geometric fabric. Okay, so now you've got your fabric all laid out on the floor. So this fabric is now folded over in half with the wrong sides together. So the pattern is on the outside, both on the top and on the bottom. So I've got my bodysuit pattern and I've laid it out onto the fabric. And I've just gone and grabbed a random skirt that I have at home. Everyone has just a really simple skirt that you could do this pattern with. So what I'm gonna do is at the middle, where it looks like the waistline is, I'm going to pop the skirt onto my pattern. Literally placing the pattern on top of the bodysuit like that. And I'm gonna do the same for the top up here. So let me just pop you back down and bear with me while I cut this out. Before I get started, I thought I would show you this amazing cutting tool. Now, I talk about this all the time on my Instagram. It is a power cutting tool that you can use to cut your fabric. It eliminates the need for big shears for cutting fabric because it's so quick. This thing cost me about 20 quid from Amazon. I've got a link down in my description. So if you're interested in saving yourself so much time when it comes to cutting, get yourself one of these the next time you need a new pair of scissors. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut all the way around my bodysuit pattern and around the skirt. You don't need to add a seam allowance to the rest of the bodysuit, but you do need to add a seam allowance to the bottom of the skirt. Oh, this is going to be so tight. Can we make this work, guys? I think it's just gonna be a hoochie mama kind of skirt. Okay, so I'm getting creative here because I don't quite have enough of the fabric that I need. So what I'm going to do is, because only one side of the fabric pattern needs to be shown, I'm going to do the inside flipped. So the inside is gonna be the wrong way around, but that's actually fine because you never see it anyway. So let's keep going with this. Oh, I do love that sound. <laughs> so this dress I'm hoping to wear on my holiday, which I'm going on in July later this year. I feel like this is going to be a perfect little summer dress. And also it takes less than an hour to make. So I think I'm going to have a few of these. So once you have got your pattern pieces all chopped out, what you're going to do is going, you're going to sew around the armholes, the neck hole and the bottoms and leave the sides open. Okay, so now I'm matching the thread sort of. I've got some white thread, which I think will be fine with this one. So you can see I've got the dress here and I'm being very lazy now. And I'm going to not even pin it. I'm just going to start sewing. So this is the armhole, gonna get started. So this dress has two pattern pieces on the front, which we're now sewing together. So the dress will actually be lined. And just in case I wasn't very clear, you're going to sew around the neck hole, the armhole and the bottom of the dress. And you're going to do that on both the front and the back pieces. What you're going to do is you've got your back piece and you've got your front piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn one of them inside out. So I'm actually going to turn the front piece inside out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot that inside the other piece. So you should, in a moment, see them both slotted into each other. So if you catch all of the corners, so I now know that they're all secure, I could do the pin, but I don't have one. We'll make it work. Da, da, da. Okay. There you go. So now I've got that in on that side, which is perfect, that's what I wanted. And you want to start um, pinning this together as much as possible. 
So, and we're going to sew along the side. And then we're also going to do the same here, make it as flat as possible, and then pin it all together down the side, matching it at the seams as much as possible. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that once it's all in, it should be sandwiched in together and it would look something like this. So you've got all of the one side pinned down and it's all sandwiched in place. And you've got the two shoulder straps which are both flattened and sandwiched in. And I just want to show you here, you can see that there are four pieces of fabric that are all layered together. You're going to be sewing through those four layers of fabric. So just if you think you've done something wrong, you haven't, you've done it all right. And then again with these, you've got four layers of fabric all sandwiched in here that we're going to sew over. And I thought I'd skip straight to the next part. So once you've got the shoulder seam sewn, and both of the sides sewn you can then trim off all of the excess that you have and it should just look like you have one pattern piece the next thing we're going to do is to trim a little hole maybe somewhere at the bottom of the pattern so we can actually start to pull the fabric that's on the inside to the outside now that part takes bloody ages so I've just fast forwarded it <laughs> but you're pretty much done now you should have a right turned out dress the only thing you'll have is a small hole at the bottom of the dress that needs to be top stitched over so you top stitch that and you're all done and here we have the finished look so this is what it looks like I'm really happy with how this has turned out so you can see the top is the Bridget bodysuit you've got that lovely side boob and the really really nice back on this and then you've got a little mini skirt and you can make this as long or as short as you like. I've gone for a little mini one because I didn't have much fabric, but you can see like how lovely and sparkly this fabric is. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. I think it's turned out really well. Very happy. I hope you enjoyed making this dress with me as much as I did. You can get your hands on the Bridget bodysuit in my Etsy store, which is in the description of this video. If you make this dress, I would love to see your creations. So please tag me on Instagram. It's Rosie underscore sews. And you can use the hashtag Bridget bodysuit.